What about the work that you're doing uh, in protecting these Israeli communities in Judea and Samaria? What kind of attacks do these communities come under? A lot of people aren't reading uh, about the various probes that still the terrorist organizations try. Uh, they're always testing our security. You only hear now and then about a murder, and for some people they figure that's all right. For me, it's not all right. One Jew getting killed is, is not acceptable. Uh, we have still the daily road attacks with the various stonings and so on. There's a lot of stuff going on. I say, thank God, thank God, thank God. I can't say it enough. The IDF has, has been doing a wonderful job doing this, stopping a lot. And uh, we take our part. One land, one people. Just us. We've got to do what we got to do. What's the role of the One Israel Fund? When it was fun, is there for them. You know, it was funny, I read an article how the Jewish federations are now stopping their ban on visits to the West Bank. What is real fun has been the federation, if you will, for these communities since 93. And it's not just what I deal with, whether it be security, emergency response, but all the good side, whether it's schools, playgrounds, all the other things. This is simply the organization that's been working over the Green Line, focused on that since. And I think that's a great thing. Are uh, international Jewish organizations, even uh, tour groups, being shown the realities that you guys are living there? You know, it's funny that you say that. The APAC is having a visit, I think, next week, or they might have had one to Ramallah. But to go 300 meters away to Betel, which Dafka we read, in, you know, we're, we're, we read about in this parsha, we're going to continue reading, that they wouldn't do. A lot of mainstream progressive Jewish organizations that are going on fact-finding missions and so on will not actually go into these communities. And if they do, they make sure to pick someone specifically who's going to rub their participants the wrong way, which is very interesting. They are not getting an accurate view of the people living in Judea and Samaria. It is as diverse as the community living in L.A., but they don't get to see that. Does the Israeli Tourism Ministry have a responsibility to, to, to promote the awareness of what these uh, uh, holy land communities are like? I think they have been. They've been involved in a lot of nice things. And what we're seeing in Israel is a lot of Israeli Jews coming out to this area more and more, and it's growing. I mean, even in Shiloh, just a couple weeks ago, we had the Bible Marathon, where Jews from all over Israel ran the biblical stretch to Shiloh that we knew. And uh, it was wild. It's wild to see that Israelis have woken up and are waking up more. Of course, now and then you'll run into the guy, oh, I'm not going over there, whatever. That number's going down. And unfortunately, the way I see it, you know, even on the streets here in L.A. and speaking with various people, a lot of American Jews are going to, they're keeping themselves separate. And it's going to be their loss.